versus uh, uh, another problem that many people have because that's the container. That, I was telling you that that's the method. But the container gives shape to your oil. Some, some of the vessels she borrowed were probably rectangular like the, some of the debers we used to use back in the day. Some of them were probably round. Some of them were probably... So all kinds of vessels that people had in their houses is what she... But the vessel is what gives shape to your oil and because it's the container. And I want you to know that your business, your life, your future, your blessing will take the shape of that which actually you borrow and that which you actually ask other people's inputs. Because you may be very gifted, but if you take the input of other people to see their methodology, to see how they do things, to see how their, their systems, you can copy their systems, you can ask them so that you can adapt their systems so that they can be useful to you. And uh, those are the vessels I'm talking about. If you do not open up your eyes to see what others can contribute to you, you are going to be very limited. And the only way this woman could have increased her capacity was to look at others and to send a message to others with humility. Can I borrow your vessel? Can I borrow your vessel? Can I borrow your vessel for a season? And she knew exactly what she was borrowing. And there was a condition about these vessels. They had to be empty. Of course, she probably checked whether they were clean vessels so that the oil is not messed up. This is cooking oil so that it's not messed up. And then the other thing is, was the vessels also, uh, do they leak? Number three, are they strong enough to hold the capacity that I'm just about to pour in them? And so she had to test the kind of vessel she was borrowing, but she needed to borrow vessels so that she can be able uh, to expand. And many, many people I know have an issue here because they, um, they are so closed in, they do not know exactly how to go about researching, looking out, finding systems, looking away at a way of expanding. And so they become very limited and constrained. And when they copy, they copy the wrong people. You copy someone that is struggling just like you. You copy someone that has not gone anywhere and you are competing with them and you are just walking where everybody else is flying. And so you have to know exactly who's just to borrow. Because if this woman went ahead and borrowed small just like the one she had, uh, she would have, but she was instructed, she was told, go borrow vessels empty vessels and she was told borrow them from everywhere and that means that when you are going to ask people for vessels you are going to go everywhere in every field you are going to go and find out what people and how people are doing in every field that is exists and that is there I try to make sure that I know uh, what I'm doing with preaching and with Bible study and with uh, knowing the word but I, I also want to know a little bit of technology. I want to understand that side because if I'm going to do ministry, I have to know just even a little bit so that I can be able to steer the direction ahead in that. Nowadays, you cannot do ministry without, in it, without technology. You have to know how to handle a computer. You have to know how to handle some of these things that we are doing even at this time. So I, have, I had to go outside my field of study, which is uh, understanding the Bible, and I had to go and borrow from somewhere else. If you, you may be gifted in making hair, eh, you are probably a hairdresser. But if you do not borrow from marketing, you are not going to make so many uh, people's hair. Because unless you can borrow from there. And that's why this woman has been told, go borrow vessels. And again, she's told, borrow them from everywhere. If you are going to really be able to contain uh, the blessing of God. And that's what she was told, go borrow and go, go borrow vessels from everywhere. You also have to know that these vessels need to be clean. It's not written there, but the vessels need to be at least something that is clean and holy and usable, something that will bring glory to God.